As many of you know, uh, Linda and I have moved from Planet Helix over to our new digs, which uh, is only actually about 100 feet from Planet Helix, uh, right over to the side. But anyway, we're over into a, a smaller house now, and uh, we have a lot of Helix product from over the years. Uh, when, when you buy product, uh, and by product I mean CDs, you have to get a minimum order of 300 units, a lot of times it's 500 units. And so, um, you know, you have your initial uh, rush on what you're going to sell and then you're left over maybe, you know, if you have to reorder a couple hundred units sitting around. So, after time, um, you want to get rid of that, A, a to, you know, make money on the CDs, but also to get the music out there. Because we always strive to put out the best uh, uh, records that we can when we put records out, even though we're working on a much more limited budget than, say, uh, 1984. Um, I put together a, a four pack. We, we started off when we, when we released Old School to uh, <clears throat> market it with Breaking Loose and White Lace of Black Leather. Now, uh, uh, Breaking Loose and White Lace of Black Leather on Prague AOR Records from Europe. And um, anyway, what, what, uh, as part of the deal with that record company, they gave me 100 free units. So I thought it'd be a great idea to package it up with Old School because. Those were our first two indie releases in 1979 and 1981, respectively, and uh, they fit right in with, you know, old school, right? Uh, old school is, I don't know, I've lost track of how many records we've got out now, but it, it's our newest, and that's uh, it right there. And getting rave reviews. So, so now I'm putting together old school once again, and this helps sell the new album when I do this. And I put this together with uh, the Volmer album, which I released a couple of years ago. This is a great album, some great songs in this record. It was produced by Gavin Brown, uh, who's a fantastic drummer. He's won Juno's, Grammys. Uh, Sean Kelly's playing guitar. Probably one of the best guitar players in Canada. Plays for Lee Aaron, Honeymoon Suite, Alan Fru, you name him, Nelly Furtado. Uh, anyway, he's playing uh, guitar in this. Daryl from Helix is playing bass. Uh, Matt Weedinger, what I call Matt Weed Eater, is uh, playing keyboards. Uh, Cheryl Lescom is singing background vocals, probably Canada's best blues singer. So this is a great uh, uh, part of that package. The um, the Helix uh, Christmas Heavy Mental Christmas CD from 2008. Uh, that's going to be in this package as well, and the Rocket Science album from a couple years back too, and this has got Gene Simmons Says on it, which I don't think is on any other record. So, uh, all four of those CDs uh, were selling for only $30 plus shipping, which is a real deal. It means that, you know, this album sells for $20, so you're basically getting these for $3.33 each. So, uh, great deal, and uh, we've only got, uh, I think, uh, 20 packages of this to sell. Helix has a lot of hardcore fans out there that are always trying to help us uh, by getting our name out, get us gigs. Rob Bercy from Metal Rules comes to mind right away out in Newfoundland. He's always plugging the band and trying to get us out there to play. Rob isn't feeling too well lately, so we sent a big uh, get well wish out to him. And, but anyway, if you want to help the band, the best way is just by word of mouth. Get the, get the new record old school. And if you like it, tell people about it and encourage them to uh, buy the uh, record from the website. Uh, classic rock stations in Canada do not play new music uh, by classic uh, Canadian rock slash metal bands. And the CRTC ratings, which require for so much Canadian content and Canadian radio, actually to an extent work against Canadian bands because when the program director has a choice between, I don't know, uh, here for a good time by Trooper and something they've done that's brand new, they'll always pick the old song because they know it's a proven song. We don't uh, make the hits, we just play them. We have no place to get airplay except an internet radio. This time around, Tom Adams from Paris Records in Houston, by the way, he's amazing, this guy, because he was in Cherry Street, so he, he knows the music, he loves the music, and he, most importantly, he knows how to market and sell the music worldwide. But Tom Mathers uh, ha, has set up a lot of internet radio stations this time around, and we did 70 internet station IDs, and we're getting tons of reviews. They're all positive. They're playing the record. So that's the way we've been going lately is uh, internet radio rather than established radio. 
Now, as uh, you all know, Fritz came back uh, from his uh, injury in uh, a couple weeks ago when we played in Vancouver and Calgary. Donuts are the way to fly. Don't it make you feel like dancing? Maybe. This was a momentous thing for the band because uh, we didn't know how he was going to fare after that accident. He uh, uh, fractured his skull, he broke uh, uh, three ribs, broke his back, lost his sense of uh, uh, taste and um, smell, uh, hearing in one ear, he's got vertigo. But he came back and he played great, he's fantastic. So today is a big gig in Vancouver. Can't wait. Be Your first day back. Kind of pumped up about it actually. Yeah. yeah. 20 minutes. Really pumped up. Yeah. It's going to be good. And so it just shows you the uh, strength of the uh, uh, the guy, and um, it's it's good to have him back. So we have lots of dates coming up. Uh, this week, uh, probably after you see this newsletter, but we're going to be in Hamilton at uh, Club Absinthe. Uh, we've got a long history with the city of Hamilton. We started playing there at the James Way. Uh, but I actually started playing in Hamilton when I was in a choir called the Ontario Youth Choir. Straight out of high school, we opened up Hamilton Place. And that was uh, back in 1973 or 74. And um, that was uh, with uh, the Hamilton Philharmonic Orchestra. Uh, Galt McDermott who wrote uh, Hair and uh, Aretha Franklin's Rhythm Section, uh, Noel Carter and Al Nicholson from Hair and Slomi Bay, uh, the famous uh, blues singer from Toronto. So that was my first time playing in Hamilton and uh, since then we played a, a whole variety of clubs uh, in the city and uh, it's going to be nice coming back. Uh, then uh, we follow that up the very next weekend by playing Canada Day in Athabasca, uh, which is north of Edmonton by about an hour and a half, and that's with Susan the Blue Cart, and uh, I'm looking very forward to meeting her. And uh, next day we drive back to Edmonton, we fly to Winnipeg, we stay overnight, and then the next day we fly up to uh, Round Lake to play for the Cree Nation. There's only 700 people in the whole town, right? Uh, but it's going to be a real uh, experience going up there. It's one of the things I like about being in the band. You get to see different parts of the country. We have a large native following that uh, follow the band we have for years. And I um, always appreciate playing for those people. So even though uh, the gear is going to be somewhat limited when we go up there, we're going to make the best of that situation and really uh, try to put on a great show for uh, the people to come see us. Uh, next day we fly back from Round Lake and um, to Winnipeg, catch a connecting flight, Toronto, drive home. Next day we drive back to Toronto, that's on the Friday, and we fly to Barcelona, Spain. We get in, a, in on the Saturday <coughs> afternoon, and then we play the next day, Sunday, uh, with Def Leppard at uh, Rock Barcelona. Monday, fly back home, and then uh, the following Thursday, we're up in Wellman at uh, Hair in the Fair, and I believe that's with Quiet Riot. Uh, and the next day, the one that everybody's been waiting for, the Gables and Grand Bend. The Gables and Grand Bend, uh, I played there with a cover band, but I've never played there with Helix. Uh, we started playing Grand Bend way back in the 70s at Kelly's Boogie Parlor, and uh, it used to be just crazy when we played there, packed house. and um, uh, That's actually where I met my first wife, uh, Gidget, and it, uh, was at the uh, Kelly's Boogie Parlor. Uh, so we're, anyway, we're going back. And uh, I think that's almost sold out. I'm, I have a couple tickets, not too many. Um, and uh, so that's it for that run. And then a couple weeks later, we're in uh, Fort Erie at the racetrack. And then right after that, we go to Sweden. And then a week later, we're at, uh, in Prince George, uh, at British Columbia, at um, uh, Caribou Rocks in North. And I believe that's a lover boy, uh, trooper. Uh, the Romantics, Lee Air, and Honeymoon Street. It's like every classic rock band uh, in Canada is going to be there. So that's going to be fantastic. And then in uh, September, we play for the Armed Forces up in Kingston. Uh, and our last two dates of the year that we have in the books right now are um, the Brass Monkey in Ottawa. That's uh, October 11th. And then the next day, we've got to drive all the way back to uh, Kitchen Waterloo and play Maxwell's. Last time we were at Maxwell's, we had like 700 people. This time we're coming back to Pony Hatch. 
So we expect another stuffed house and all the local fans out to see the band. So uh, we're going to be quite busy and um, we love playing. So what can I tell you? It's going to be a great summer. So that's it for this edition of the uh, Helix Newsletter. Uh, hope you're rocking out there, so don't be square. I'll see you around. Catch you on the flip side.